are you going? Oh, Dennis. <laughs> Subway. Yeah. Subway now. We're gonna take you to lunch, Dennis. Oh, we're going to lunch. I didn't know that. It's been good so far. Oh, Dennis, Christy's gone. She took the car. You're here to the rescue. Yeah, but how come you're not walking? Well, I'll be walking back. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> we'll walk back. Hold do I need my exercise? Is that what you're saying, Dennis? No, I wouldn't do that. I now. hear what you're saying. It's strange we've been coming this time of day. Yeah, I know, yeah. Wow. It's a little weird for you, right? Yeah. Normally there's a dark shroud around you. Yeah, that's always <laughs> in the I don't know why. No one's ever seen you this clearly before. Love geese. Oh yeah, there's loads of geese. Yeah. They um they congregate right outside our house all the time. What do you think of geese? Dennis, are you a fan of geese? You you have no opinion on geese? No, I'm not really. No, no. <laughs> well, I have an opinion on geese. I like them. Yeah, I, I do, I do. It helps them a heavy sleeper. They don't wake me up. They don't. Christy doesn't like them quite as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when do I get my royalties? You're still on about that? <laughs> okay, until I get paid, you don't get paid, Dennis. Come on, uh, come on, uh, guys. Pay this guy so I can get paid, please. <laughs> I think I pay him pretty good, frankly, for the ride. Yeah, he just pays me, so I, got, I just got to put up with that's him. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I pay you, and you have to put up with me. That's our arrangement. <laughs> Oh, it's a hockey day. It's a hockey day. Luke loves hockey days. <laughs> I just don't want to go in and be like just sitting there doing nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we're here I, a little I, early. I can't work early because... Uh, <laughs> well, you just take your hat off. Huh? Yeah, and you just right. seal this up. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> go incognito. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dennis, I can't afford... I can't afford them for any more, so I, I got to walk home. No, right. really, and truly. I'm just throwing them out because of the royalties who won't pay me, right? Get out. Yeah, all right. I'm out of here. <laughs> Boy, he's tough. It's hard to afford good talent around here. See you, Dennis. Later, brother. <laughs> I think Dennis thought I was kidding, but I really do want to walk home. And I need the exercise. I wasn't kidding about that. Let's try not to die here, crossing the road. That's the kind of excitement you've been missing. Isn't it? You know, the end of 2019 was just, uh, it was kind of crazy. It was really busy. And we had a really nice uh, holidays because Christmas passed in the time that we haven't been talking. And uh, it was really nice. The only unfortunate thing is Andrea wasn't with us, but we were able to Skype her in. She was uh, working at Disney. And then later in January, she came for a visit and we get to have sort of Christmas a second time with her, which was uh, really nice. You know, speaking of Christmas, I got a pretty cool and unique Christmas gift that I want to tell you about. Just one sec. Well, if you've watched the vlog before, you might recognize where I am. I'm in front of Stella's, one of my favorite places to eat in Montague. And I got this card in the mail just around Christmas time. This was from somebody who watches my Watch It Play channel and the vlog, and I had done them a, a little favor for a friend, and they wanted to send me a thank you. And they didn't just send this card, they sent this. This is a gift card for Stella's. Now to be clear, the person who sent me this lives in Seattle. So they contacted Stella, they had her mail them a $20 gift card, and then they mailed that to me. Rob and Joy, I, I hope you see this. I thought this was really, really thoughtful and it really meant a lot to me. Uh, thank you so much for this. And it's a very practical gift because although it appears to be closed right now, I think they're opening soon. I'm gonna use this gift card right now for some lunch. do the cheeseburger special and we'll do the coconut pie okay. and we'll do a double chocolate chip cookie. 
because I'm feeling naughty. Okay, and our cookies are only one dollar. Oh, that's great. They're a good size. Okay, well, I'll take whatever you've got left on the $20 and in cookies. All right, well, while we wait for my ridiculous meal, courtesy of Rob and Joy, um, let's catch up on a few things, shall we? Well, we should probably start with the basics, shouldn't we? Um, I know this isn't a bird vlog, but let's talk about the birds for just a moment. I put a little feeder on the window at the kitchen and they'll come up to that and they'll grab a little bit of food and they'll fly off. Now, the problem with the window feeder is the creature in our home, uh, otherwise known as Elvis, who will crouch beside the window just out of view of the birds and wait till they come in for a meal and he will jump up to attack them. Of course, he just hits glass every time, which is amusing in its own way, I suppose. But uh, he's got a problem. It's a, a, a obsessive compulsion with these birds. I suppose I do as well, but it's, <laughs> it's a little more friendly. Uh, earlier this year, I went out and thought, well, I wonder if I can feed these birds straight from my hand. And you know what? It's the small little chickadees, the ones you would think might be the most timid of all, that are the bravest. The blue jays, the woodpeckers, the nuthatches, they won't come and eat it in my hand, not yet anyway. Maybe in the future, I don't know, if I keep at it. But those little chickadees, ah, uh, they're, they're relentless. They love it. There's your cookie, you're gonna laugh. Oh, at look at that. <laughs> Do I eat this first? <laughs> oh, it's some pie. You're gonna be uh, having a good day today. I am gonna have a good day today. I'm already having a great day. You have Thank you. a wonderful you day. Thank you, you too. Thanks so much, Robbie. Stella makes a mean french fry, let me tell you. Speaking of things I want to tell you, I remember the time, quite fondly, when I could wake up in the morning, naturally, out of a deep, restful sleep. You know that feeling when you just kind of wake up and it's not an alarm blaring, it's just you naturally, slowly greeting the day. It feels good, right? I barely remember what that's like anymore because now, every morning around 5.30, 6, our cat creature, uh, Elvis, or we often call him Bean now, he comes into our room, he hops up on the bed, traipses all over it. So I'm sleeping and then suddenly it's like I'm getting punctured all over me. He circles the bed multiple times and then... And keep in mind, I am the one who least was interested in having a cat as a part of our household. He then buries himself next to me. Not next to Christy, next to me. I should say, if he's feeling generous, he'll just snuggle in next to me. Otherwise, he'll just plunk himself on top of me. And look, I don't care how you feel about cats. There is something about the way they purr. And that little vibration of the purr and the sound. You can't... Uh, look, I'm not a monster. You can't help but reach out and pet them, rub them under the chin. And so now, that's that's my alarm clock now. A fur ball that comes in in the morning, jumps on me, and coerces me into showing it affection. That's my life now. <laughs> I was hoping the rain would let up, but it hasn't, and I finished eating, and I need to get home. So, <laughs> gotta leave the shelter here. I'll probably get a little wet. You know, there's something I wanted to mention to you, something that I discovered over the holidays that was kind of a surprise to me. You know, I've always credited Casey Neistat with being a real source of inspiration for starting the vlog that I'm doing here. I was watching a lot of his videos. I thought they were fantastic. I was really engaged by them. And it made me want to tell some of my own stories here in Montague and other places that I end up. But I always was a little self-conscious about being so inspired by it that I would copy and lift his style and overuse it in the things that I was doing. And then something kind of interesting happened. 
on my computer, I have this folder full of all these old videos I made decades ago. <laughs> just goofy skit videos, different things like that. And I decided to go through them and see what was in there. And I came across this one video that I had taken while I was on a work trip. And I watched it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a, this is a vlog. I shot this in like the early 2000s just for a couple of my friends. You know, and the thing that was surprising to me was that although there were definitely some differences, I was using like a little point and shoot camera that had a video feature and I looked a little different, but there were so many similarities too. You know that thing I do where I'll set the camera up somewhere and I'll like walk away from it or I'll walk towards it and just the little waxing philosophical monologues in there. The video was full of that. And this was long before Casey Neistat was ever making vlogs. I don't even know if I knew what a vlog was back then. This was just something I would do as a goofy little thing for my friends. I had these two friends at work that I would enjoy making these silly videos for that I would then show them. They were my entire audience. <laughs> I would hope to make them laugh and then I would go on and make something else. I feel very thankful for the inspiration I felt from Casey Neistat and what he did. That really got me doing it now. But I was kind of glad to see that I had it in me back then to do this style of video that I'm doing now. It made me feel like, okay, Rodney, you didn't lift style. You didn't steal a style. Um, it was something that you were doing anyway. <laughs> you just were only doing it for two people. And now I get to do it for a lot more, which is very nice. much better. Birds aren't going to starve around this house if I can help it this year. Oh, and speaking of which, Happy New Year. It's 2020. I hope to see you a lot more in this year. Don't forget, we're going to get to 100 episodes. Yeah.